Hi, my name is Christopher Hart. I'm a cartoonist and author of many books on how to draw. And I know you know that already, but thank you anyway for letting me say so. And here's one of my books I'd like to show you today, which is how to draw, how to draw dogs and cats from simple templates. I'm gonna show you how to draw a cute dog, my dog, Spencer, you can turn it into your dog, same principles, and a side view. Oh man, what happened to that? I had a, an errant pencil. Okay, here we go. So we're gonna start with a basic shape, which is, let's do it like this, you'll recognize this shape, and I'll show you a few things about it in a second. All right, so that's the basic shape of the dog's head. And I'll do it in marker afterwards, make it darker, okay? But we're gonna start this way because we'll probably, probably be erasing. And not at the top of the head, because that gets a little bit thick. We're gonna bring it down a little for the neck. Not at the top, but down here, okay? And the same thing in here. So make it a little bit thinner. I can even bring it back just a touch. Unless he's a you know a tough dog, you know, like guard dog or something. And now I'm going to flatten the top out a little bit, okay? Flatten the top and bring it down and slope it. I'll erase this, I'm kind of kind of molding it and sculpting it. So you see how this goes like this, here, here, and here. It's three different planes. Now I'll bring the cheek in this way. We go like that, and that's why you don't want that neck to get too far back this way, okay? Now, right here where the bridge of the nose is, that's the eye line, right like this. So we're going to give him the eye pretty close to the front of the face, like this, big eyeball, and a nice big eyebrow up here. It can go right up to the top of the forehead right here, and I'll just kind of do that. Fill that in. Okay, now here is the trick, okay? First, let me just, now I'm gonna actually bring this in a little bit more, a little thinner. And because I'm doing that, I'll make this a little thinner. So we, we just continue to make some changes. So we have this, and now it doesn't just go back like this. It's sort of like a, um, it's a slanted front plane for the bridge of the nose, like that. See that? That's actually the way the dog's front nose goes. It can be longer, it can be shorter, but it's really, it's got a plane here. It's, it's got some, you know, a side. And I'm going to bring this up here. Bring the cheek, cheek crease right up. Bring that here for a nice big smile. It really, it has to end somewhere. A smile always has to, has to go somewhere and that's where it is. And we'll bring this forward. And the chin is just a continuation of this. See that? Just a continuation, like that. And the chin is not too big, but it's got some mass there. So we will go like this. I'll thin that out. And also put a side here, a little one. Now I like to have the, ch the cheek crease go in front. It gives a little more push, you know, a little more ex expression than to put it down this way. Now the nose doesn't, isn't round here on a cartoon, it's not, it goes down straight and then kind of gradually goes down toward the front, like that, all right? And actually in a real dog, the front of the nose actually goes a little past the front of the mouth. Now you see the slope? I want that to be a little further in front of the eye, like this, a little more, it's a cuter look, there we go. All right, now you're gonna say, Chris, why are you doing this? And I'll say, because I have to. And the thing is, we're going to bring the ear in, and it doesn't start at the top. It does not start at, start at the top. It's, it's like this, it's a little bit on a tilt, and down a little, a little bit this way. And it does cover some of the stuff we've already done. But that's okay, because that's what happens. We draw the, the, uh, the basic construction, and then we finish it up. Okay, so. Let me just make a little change here. And I'll make the chin just a tiny bit shorter like this. Okay. And another little bit of the ear this way. And I think we are ready to get a shot. See what it's gonna look like, okay? So here is the eye. It's not very round because on the side view, it kind of flattens out which is what we'd expect. Like that.
Here is eyebrow. And here's the nose, and I'm going to slope that back. And this is sort of the point here where it makes that upward move. And keep the mouth narrow here, and down below is where it starts to open. Here is the, the little tongue hanging out like that. I always like that. I like that my dog. And the nose like so. And we'll put a little shine on the top by just leaving a little, little bit of light. A couple of whiskers. And a nice, easy slide down to the bridge of the nose. A couple of whisks. And we'll give him a little bit of a ruffled up ear. How about a little bit of a tooth here? Maybe one or two. And a little bit of darkness inside that mouth. No light can really hit it. And there you go. There is your side view of a dog. I'll give it a little crease right here, too. I hope you like that. and hope you subscribe and join me again. And by the way, again, the book is How to Draw Dogs and Cats from Simple Templates. Hey, you know what? Let's erase some of the pencil marks and see how it looks without that, and then we'll close, okay? Just so we see what, where we started and now where we are. He's kind of scruffy little guy, like my little guy. My dog's name is Spencer, so we'll call him Spencer too. Thanks for joining me. See you next time. Bye-bye.